Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for the sign of Aries. Okay, so we have two that wanted to come out. So we have inner goddess or God. Express your inner, your divine feminine energy and loving wisdom will transform you. Okay. And we have blessed ideas. Allow your ideas to come to fruition and they will bring many blessings. All right. Back of the deck, we have speak your truth. Gemini energy. Choose your words wisely. Remember that your words have consequences. Okay, what I'm already getting from this, guys, is Spirit is telling you to stay silent in a situation. I don't know which one in what situation it is yet, but they're telling you to remain silent. Yep. I feel like they're, because they're saying that, or if you do say, they're like telling you to not say much. And what you, because they're saying your words have consequences. And then with this card saying to embrace your feminine energy, that's receptive energy. They could be telling you to, to let somebody or something come to you, not be the one to seek it out or to reach out first in a situation. And um, this is what's going to maybe bring something that you've been wanting to fruition. All right. Um, give me a few more. Like, this is not a time for you to take action on something. Something is coming towards you, and what's coming towards you is ultimate fulfillment. You are not entering a time of peace, happiness, and emotional fulfillment. Okay, what's on the back of the deck? We have, wow, success and triumph. Nothing will be able to get in your way. You will surely come out on top. So, yeah, choose a path. There are many paths before you, but you may only choose one. The crescent moon. As the moon grows, so can your wealth, health, and happiness stay positive. Hmm. Something could be coming in around the full moon for you guys. Yeah, I feel like something is... What, what's the, what's happening around the full moon? Ooh, toxic. See, this is what I'm talking about, guys. So, what I'm already getting from this is that somebody's going to try to do something to trigger you. Because this card says, find the strength to remove yourself from toxic influences in your life. So there could be a situation coming to a climax around the full moon where you will finally leave behind somebody that is toxic. Or you have somebody coming towards you that is toxic that is going to try to do something to trigger you. And spirit is telling you to stay silent or keep, be very, you know, we have up in the air on the back of the deck. This situation has many unknown elements due to the influence of others. So, yeah, somebody's family is involved. Yeah, I feel like somebody's family... Is involved in a situation where, because it says the elements of, inf it says the situation has many un unknown, I can't talk guys. This situation has many unknown elements due to the influence of others. And then we have family and heritage after that. Yeah, you what you've been waiting for is ready to be. Your patience is about to be rewarded. Some of you guys have already been being silent. But see, what is tempting you at this moment may not be a wise choice. Yeah, see, some of you guys may be, something is going on. And I feel like you guys may not be aware of it. And this person may not be wanting to share it with you. Something is going on within a family situation or within somebody's, yeah, with somebody's family. And that has something that's affecting the situation between you and this person still at this moment. They're still um, intruders. Okay, let's just put it that way. Um, what Spirit is saying that what you have been waiting for is getting ready to hatch to come into your reality, but that you need to let the universe continue to keep helping you. Look, and this card has a full moon on it. You guys may be tempted to do something, especially if somebody tries to do something to come in and trigger you. You may be, but it says what may be tempting you at this moment not be a wise, may not be a wise choice. I feel like the divine is telling you, yep, it says something in your life will be brief, not meant to stay in your life forever. Yeah. You've been through the fire, rising up anew and embracing life in a deeper way. Seeing through the veil of illusions and, and have the courage to see that they, things as they really are. It is time to act now without hesitation. Move past the old and move forward. Yeah. So what is it, again, what does this have to do with my collective though? Exchanging gifts. There's a dance of give and take. What you give, you will get back. Okay, one more. What's, okay, delicate rose. Be willing to honestly say what you feel, no matter how terrifying it may seem. We have Sagittarius energy here, expansion. You are ready to expand and move forward to your next lucky break. So is this for my collective? That Do they need to speak up now? Is Spirit saying now is the time to speak up? No, it says boundaries. So maybe you need to communicate your boundaries very clearly. I feel like they're telling you to like, 
not give too much, like not say too much, not give something too much of your energy. There may be a need to communicate your boundaries in a situation or, you know, say like state your boundaries, defend yourself, but don't give too much of your energy. So just say your piece and leave it at that. But somebody is going to be trying to get under your skin or trigger you or get like you to act crazy or get an emotional reaction out of you. Okay. Um, yeah, look, it says you need to Virgo energy. You need to look at something more closely. What you need to know lies in the details. Yeah, think outside of the box and stress the boundaries of what could be. Somebody's watching you. Yeah, tricky situations. A sly approach is necessary in order to safely navigate tricky situations. Yeah, somebody's regretful here. And there's a need to navigate a situation or handle a person that's very clever very differently. Angels are working with you behind the scenes to assist in the miracle you've requested. Yeah, they're kind of telling you to continue to just let them don't go back into a situation. Yeah, your guides are sending you helpful people and opportunities your way to lead to expansion. It's almost like there may be a situation coming up where, like I said, somebody reaches out to you or somebody tries to do something to trigger you. They're telling you to not give this person or the situation too much of your energy. Okay. Um you know, insert your boundaries, but what is this card? We have spiritual lessons here. What a, we're going to elaborate on that in a sec here. Okay. Something about the full moon. What is the full moon? I feel like it's coming up. I think it's at the very end of this month or the very beginning of next month. So, and within the next couple of weeks, something could be happening here. It's like a situation is reaching a climax or something. Yeah, we have the world here. Maybe there's a cycle that's about to close out. Yeah. Libra energy. The four of wands. For some of you, if this is an, an energy external from you, somebody's finally putting an end to a situation with their family, a family situation, setting boundaries with their family. This could be what's happening. Like, it could be that as well. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. King of Wands in reverse. Aries, Leo, Sag energy. We also have the Four of Swords in reverse that wanted to come out. Yeah, somebody's going to take action here. Somebody that withdrew or you have, that hasn't been speaking to you. Tell me about the world. See the Page of Swords. Oh, there's a lesson here. Yeah, there's a lesson here. Some type of karmic situation or karmic lesson is coming to a like a completion. Like it's like you guys have learned the lesson. Yeah, you finally have learned what you needed to learn from something. And it's like something is coming to a completion. Or it could be this person too, somebody in your energy. I'm going to take a look right after this to see what this means for you. Yeah, tell you about the Four of Wands. They require some type of knowledge here. You have... The Nine of Cups. See, there's some type of um, wish fulfillment that's coming in the form of a commitment, a marriage, a union here. Yep. Twin Flame Union with the 1111 energy. It could be a lot of different things, but family, a family situation coming together, a reunion. This is wish fulfillment. One side, somebody's learned the lesson. A cycle's closing out. Union is manifesting. Wish fulfillment is manifesting. Talking about the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. See, the, what you thought was a missed opportunity or like, a situation would never reach the potential that you saw in it. So like you were dealing with a situation where you thought that it was like your dream job or you thought it was your dream person. You thought it was your happily ever after and then it didn't turn out to be that way. But Spirit is saying that that's about to change. What you thought was like a situation that was never going to reach the potential that you saw in it is actually going to turn into that. Tell me about the King of Wands in reverse. The Six of Swords. Okay. Somebody can moving, be moving away from some type of selfishness. See, no, you and this card literally says on it, accepting a lesson. Oh, is somebody, is your masculine, this could be you or the, or somebody you're dealing with. There's a masculine energy who has finally learned their lesson and being selfish and impulsive and lustful, possibly. Tell me more about that. The six of swords and the, yeah, somebody wants to reconcile. Somebody wants to make peace with you. But why are they in the king of wands in reverse energy? The star in reverse. Okay. Tell you more, the Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, and the Hierophant reverse. What about the Six of Swords, though? The Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands. Somebody wants to restart things with you, but I feel like they actually want to invest something in you now. I feel like you were dealing with somebody that was very unhealed, 
They were very, they were a charmer. They were, you know, they were non-committal, selfish, self-serving. I feel like they're wanting to move away from that version of themselves. Okay, guys. And I feel like they're wanting to come back around to you, like re-spark things between the two of you and actually compromise with you and offer you something solid here. Yes. Taking a leap of faith towards you. Wow. This is very clear. Tell me more. Death in reverse, though. Scorpio energy. The Four of Cups in reverse and the Knight of Wands in reverse. Oof. Somebody was really not wanting to put an end to this lifestyle that they were living. But there's a new perspective here. What is the Four of Cups in reverse? Yep, new perspective. The hate man, Pisces energy. What's this new perspective? That they're, Somebody's wanting to let go of their player lifestyle. Somebody's wanting to let go of their selfishness. They're wanting to move away from that old version of themselves. They're done. Why are they done? The Three of Cups. The Three of Swords in reverse. They're healing from some type of third-party situation or karmic situation. What about that? The Four of Pentacles in reverse. Let's stop doing anything. They're releasing something here. Or they're... They're viewing you as the Empress. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine energy. What about you? They, I'm telling you guys, somebody is viewing you as their happily ever after. I need more clarity on what's giving this person this clarity now. They feel like they, they haven't done right by you. Yeah, they feel like they haven't done right by you. What's making them feel like Libra energy? What's making them feel like, see this now? Yes, two of swords reverse. They see it now. They're no longer confused. They've made up their mind about something. They're making a move. And what is this leading to? The nine of wands. Eh. The high priest is reverse. And the ace of cups. The eight of cups. Huh. They want to apologize. They're walking away from something. They're finally leaving something behind. Yeah, there's two feminine energies here. There's one person that's getting walked away from and one person is getting um, th somebody they're trying to, th that they want to make amends with. Yeah, take a leap of faith with. And I feel like it's you. Yeah, the hermit. They've done a lot of thinking and introspecting. Yeah, they don't want to juggle anymore. So somebody has realized that they want to settle down. Their self-limiting beliefs and their immaturity kept them in some type of toxic, toxic energy or toxicity. Immaturity, yeah, laziness. Or they were low effort, but they're working on, what are they working on? The, their finances being more stable. This person views themselves as a match for you. Yeah, with the queen and king of pentacles here, whoever this other person was that they were dealing with was very, they, 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 didn't, have, they didn't know their worth. They were drama. Um, they were a cheater. They were uh, had anger issues, jealous. They were working against them, like very, yeah, temperamental. They're viewing you as a perfect match. It's like they're trying to get on your level or they're working on trying to get on your level. Yep, because they want to be like in the nine of pentacles energy like you, self-sufficient, independent, um, able to live their life on their terms, like uh, successful, achieve, you know, whatever it is. That's what they're trying to manifest for themselves. And I feel like they've not been manifesting that but it's because they've had all these blockages in their energy and they've woke up to what the blockages are that have been holding them back from getting into the Nine of Pentacles energy and keeping them in the Emperor in reverse. Okay. Um, tower moment. Yeah. Wow. Very clear message tonight. Oh, goodness. It's like they've learned what they were supposed to learn from a karmic and now it's like they see that you're the one that they feel like they can actually build with. It's like they, they no longer resonate with that version of themselves anymore. They no longer want to be that version of themselves that they were when they were in this relationship with this karmic. They've outgrown that version of themselves. They see that they're trying to get more into alignment with you, which is like what would require them to be a new, more um, ascended, um, higher level version of themselves. But one of the biggest things that was keeping them from getting ascending to that level was that they were not wanting to leave or close out a cycle completely. That was what that was what was keeping them from reaching that status that they were working so hard to get to. But they weren't going to be able you can't heal and grow in the same environment that's been keeping you small. And, you know, that caused you that get gave you that trauma, you know, what I mean, or where you're, there's people around you that are still indulging in those addictions and toxic behaviors and things like that. And they're starting to realize that. So it's almost like this person maybe feels like when you were in their life, you know, you were a good influence. Like they, they had direction. They could see some things like you were very, like maybe a mentor for this person. Um, something like that. All right. Um, let's get some more cards. 
So tell me more about what's happening around the full moon. What is the significance of the full moon? Because what is that triggering energy? What is this person about to do? I was feeling drunk. Where's that other deck? Oh, well, look at this, guys. Uprooting. They're leaving all that is familiar to them or a long-term relationship to start a brand new life with you. What did I just say to you guys? And the divine is guiding them to do this because they met their divine flame in you. You have met your divine flame. Just follow the signs to your soul and everything will occur in, occur in divine timing. So I'm being drawn to use a different deck. But that's what's maybe happening around the full moon. Is that So this person is finally walking away from a situation. They're closing out a cycle. But what is that triggering energy though? They're finally walking away from something. All right, tell me more about this full moon energy spirit. Give me more clues or clarity about what they can expect to happen around the full moon. So yeah, unfoldment. Ooh, somebody's having a spiritual awakening. Break, I'm telling you, connecting with higher self. Didn't I say that, guys? Wow, the channeling tonight, the intuition tonight is crazy. Someone is leveling up here they're closing out a cycle and they're connecting more with their higher self spiritual awakening somebody's about to have an awakening around this full moon yeah we have trouble lurking though see red flags lies and deception bad intentions see what is that about we have ancient history see someone from the past they had somebody from their past that was around them that was a snake that had bad intentions that was liar, deceptive, tons of red flags, okay? Um, and there may be awakening to this. What about this? Or for some of you, it's their damn family. What, what about it? We have Queen Bee, a natural leader standing out from the rest, ruler of their heart. So they, they're really, they're very clearly seeing the difference between you and this other person, okay? We have, I'm telling you, and their social circle. Yep. Whoever they have in their social circle. Yeah, they're leaving that behind. Yeah, ready to give up emotional material lost. What? Who's getting left out in the cold here? Confidence, optimism, fulfillment. What about that? Battle wounds. Weary and guarded, hurt in past relationships. Okay, what does that do with anything? Holding back. Somebody has a fear of abandonment here that's been holding them back. What is? Okay, so where do you fit into this situation? Where does my collective fit in? Heart. Mm, tell me more. Friendship. So this is somebody that had multiple options, guys. You weren't the only one, whether you knew that or not. This is somebody that is usually, like I said, a player. And that feeling like they've been having a hard time letting go of that player lifestyle. Because this is somebody who got hurt before in the past. And it turned them into a player. Right? They got their heart broken. Instead of, you know, they, they took that that hurt and they started hurting other people. Or they started being a player, not settling down, being noncommittal entertaining more than one person and then that's that's what they meant too they tried to be just maybe casual with you or friends first with you or something like that oh be careful this what about photographs creeping doubt they could have went back to a situation because they were skeptical about you Turn more or they were very pessimistic about you what about the knight's tale the return they're coming in with a love offer and what do they need to know about this love offer Falling in love. See, they're coming back with a love offer and it says there will be equal effort. Falling in love, the feeling is mutual. What is giving this person this change of heart though? Ocean of tears. See, emotional loss and defeat, deep sadness, heartbreak, regrets, and mistakes. Why are they so regretful? What happened? Ooh, they were, is that carelessness? Or what is that? Complexities. Oh, some type of um situationship that they found themselves in. See, they went through something, guys, with a, in a situationship or some type of tricky situation. We have outside influences, listening to other people's opinions, others affecting the outcome, external factors. That already came out. So what happened with those that situationship or those external factors? We have a secret admirer. Someone's secretly watching you. Fear of rejection. Okay. Grasp of greed. I told you they're learning a, a lesson in being selfish. 
materialism, possessiveness, and selfishness. For some of you, they chose a situation for money or possessions or whatever, greed, and they, they've been watching you from a distance the whole time. So now what are they going to do? Take action. Taking control of the situation, willingness to do the work, forward movement. See, this person was stingy with their energy and effort. That's why Spirit is saying don't be too willy-nilly to put all your energy and effort into them because they have been very stingy with their effort, but it's because they got their heart broken. They probably gave their all to somebody. Somebody broke their heart. Now they're guarded and they don't, they don't, they're a player. You know, just that same sob story. There is no excuses. Yeah, you're the Empress. Of course, Twin Flame. You're the, you're the, you guys are divine counterparts. Whoever reading, who's ever reading this is. So what are they doing about this other situation? What is this emotional loss and defeat that they went through? They needed to maybe take a break or something like that. Connect with nature, ground yourself, take a breather. Tell me more. Cleanup crew. Yep. Cleaning up life, getting rid of distractions, making healthy choices. I can't, they're decluttering guys. Yeah, and it was maybe really hard for them. Yep, must give up something to win. Aligning priorities and a difficult decision. They're realizing that they can't have this with you and also hold on to the past. And this person is choosing you. Yeah, because they think you are their perfect match. But why do they see it that way now? Yeah, now they want to, if they were all guarded with you and want controlling and they weren't willing to be vulnerable, they, they're going to come in like a lot more open and vulnerable. And they're being guided to do this. Yeah. One more from this deck. Sacred cycles. Let go of the old. Yeah, they couldn't have the old and also have you. And yeah, scared of losing you. Don't want to share you. Protect them over you. They don't want anybody else to have you. They want to fix this with you. Yeah. I feel like this person's been afraid to explore what they desire. And what they desire is you. And they've been afraid to explore that with you. Because they feel like you guys are very different. They feel like they never have good luck and love. And that you were just another person in that. And um, they just feel like you guys are very different. You're very different from what they are used to. They feel like you're too good for them. Like all, It's their insecurities. Like, yeah, you're a new energy. They find you very interesting. And, yeah, pleasantly different from their usual type. So that's why they've been afraid to explore this with you. Because it's foreign to them. But they're going to take a risk and do it. Yeah, but what about this karmic ties, though? Straight, they have isolated themselves, feeling lonely or abandoned. There could be a karmic that's feeling lonely and abandoned. What is strangely lonely or they're isolating themselves from a karmic that they know is not who, where they're, who they're supposed to be with? What does strangely lonely mean for this person? Lack of action, procrastination, reluctance to make an effort. Okay. Blessed union. <sighs> karmic ties. What's the bit strangely lonely though? Wishes granted. Maybe you guys, I, mm, what does this mean for this person? Strangely lonely. The Grim Reaper, Reaper. See, yeah, they ended that with them. The only thing I can say, guys, is that this person's a little bit codependent. So I really hope that they're not ending things with this person and trying to rush towards you, you know. They're definitely cutting this person off. Maybe they have. So they're feeling lonely because they got rid of this person now. The unexpected. The battlefield. See, something happened between them and this person. Something that they weren't expecting caught them off guard. A shocking revelation that led to some type of fight or argument, a disagreement, not on the same page. But that situation, it has come to an end or it's going to around this full moon for final coming to a final end. Because, yeah, they were indecisive about wanting to embark on this journey with you because they felt like they couldn't predict what the future held. But, um, yeah, they want to get to know you more. What is Lady Venus? A long list. See, they just feel like you're very beautiful and graceful. They feel like you have your high mate. Like they feel like you require a lot, but they feel like you're worth the fight. They know that they're going to have to do a lot to get back into your good graces too. But with this worth the fight, they're not going to give up easily. They want to conquer you. They want to fight for your love. So, yeah, they've learned the spiritual lesson. What is the spiritual lesson that they were learning, Spirit? That... They need to figure out what they really wanted. What was the spiritual lesson? What was the spiritual lesson? So it will take a while. Have they learned it or no? Yeah, they have. They're, they, it's been taken uh, forever and a lifetime. But with the world here, they have finally learned the lesson. But what is the... And they only learned this. They It's like, yeah, they, they went out there maybe and explored another option or options. And that made them realize what they really wanted. 
and that was you. But it's been taking them forever and a lifetime to realize this. But what is the spiritual lesson that they need to stop following to whatever everybody else wants them to do? Yeah, because they've been being manipulated. Yeah, this person was listening to these outside influences. Yeah, free spirit. Yeah, they need to learn to make decisions for themselves. A loyal companion. Yeah, what does that do with part of me? They betrayed the person that was loyal to them. Yeah, but this bond isn't going anywhere. Yeah, what about circus and town though? Rising star. Mm. Yeah, you may feel like this, this situation is messy, but spirit says there's a favorable outcome. Yeah, deep wisdom. Yeah, there's someone's seeing the truth clearly and it's leading to some type of victory here. Yeah, they want a ch another chance and it doesn't look like they're playing games this time. Yeah, they know that you're one of a kind. You make them feel safe or secure. But, yeah, they had a lot of baggage to clear out. Yeah. All right. All right.